Well, it is coming down, and uh, you know what? Rain, snow, sleet, or shine, we're still faithful, aren't we? That's right. That's right. Got here this morning. I tell you what, the power was off. The transmitter was off. But I had to go out there in the rain and turn everything back on. But, hey, it's all good because God is good. No weapon form against us shall prosper, right? That's right. And when you got a vision, you know what? Uh, that vision will uh, cause you to be able to do all kinds of things, even when difficult situations arise. to be sharing the good news this morning as we do every single day because it is our desire, our call, our vision to connect everyone we can to God and His Word because your, my, our connection to God and His Word is the difference maker in life. God Himself spoke in Deuteronomy chapter 8 saying this to us all, that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Well, friend, what is he telling us? That true life and true living comes from our connection to him and to his word and his proceeding word for and to our lives every single day. Well, to that end, friend, we've embarked on a 21-day time of consecration, specifically in prayer and fasting, as we are seeking the Lord. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, the Lord himself speaking says, I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you. They're for good, not evil, to prosper you, to do you no harm, to give you a future, to give you hope, and to bring you to an expected end. Now, we all know that passage, but the latter part of that passage is this. God continues to speak and says, and you will seek me and uh, find me when you shall seek me with your whole heart. What is he telling us? That we have to earn something from him to convince him. He says, no, I already have the plans and the purposes and the thoughts that I'm thinking towards you. And I know what they are, but you need to know. And when you and I set our hearts to seek God, he begins to open up and speak to us concerning the things that he already has planned for us. That's why it's so key. I talked about, you know, talking about vision. We're focusing on vision. You know, vision really comes from God. Vision is so key for our lives to be able uh, to know and to see and have holy imagination and a picture on the inside of us of what God's plans and thoughts and purposes are because our motivation, our inspiration, our fortitude to persevere comes from what is painted on the inside of us. What can you see within your heart? Well, we want to see what God sees. We want to see the plans and thoughts and purposes that he has for us. And it is as we seek him that they are revealed more and more and they're released, stimulated and uh, activated in our lives. I shared yesterday about this situation that is recorded in both Mark chapter nine and in Matthew 17, where is this man came to Jesus and met his disciples first because he had been dealing with the situation for many, many years concerning his son where he was often thrown in the fire and in the water. And uh, he tried everything that he could do. He was nothing better. And I can see sometimes we deal with those things in life, right? We're waiting on the change to come. We believe that it's possible with God. We're looking for it uh, and we're expecting it. We even are convinced of it, but sometimes it seems to tarry. It seems to wait. And so this man finds himself in this situation and he comes and the disciples are not able to help him. Of course, continuing the story, Jesus comes down to the mountain and begins to speak to the man and tells him that you need to believe only. And the man says, I believe, help my unbelief. And then Jesus delivers the man from his 
despair and hopelessness and gives him the miracle and the uh, releases his son from the bondage and the captivity that he had been in. And then he said something that's more important. And uh, Matthew and Mark record it differently. Matthew says that God said that Jesus said to them as they're trying to wonder the disciples why they couldn't cast the devil out. He says it is because of your unbelief. He says, for this kind comes forth except through prayer and fasting. Now, Mark omitted that in Mark chapter 9. He just went first straight to prayer and fasting. Well, what do you want me to get out of all of that? You focus your faith and you focus yourself and you focus your faith in God through consecration. He was not saying the devil was so powerful that if you had to pray and fast the devil out. But it is releasing the ability and power of God within you that comes when you begin to focus on God and his word. It is a stimulation of your faith. And I come today to stimulate your faith in God today, knowing that his plans and purposes for you are sure. Seek him with your whole heart and watch him reveal things that you've not seen nor known that are already appointed for your life, my life, our lives. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. Knowing this, together, 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 you and I, we are the difference. It makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this terrific Tuesday, Faithful. You're absolutely right. News that we can use through the storm. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And I I, I was on the phone with you while you were out there at that transmitter, <laughs> and I, I just <laughs> thank God for your faithfulness, Faithful. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I got I to gotta do what God had me to do. You know, I'm just glad that I was able, you know, to... Uh, Get us back in operation. Yeah, it's amazing what God does when we just step out and we sometimes we, we he empowers us to do things we couldn't we didn't even know we were capable of doing. You're right. You're right. Like I didn't know I was capable of running a radio station, you know, just uh but he knew it. Yes he did, yes he did. That's why he, we want to seek him. Right. Yes, ma'am. Well, I tell you what, you do a great job as always, and just know that we we'll appreciate you and we love you. Hey, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we appreciate what you do for God, well, for us through Gospel Explosions every single day. And we want you to have a great day on purpose. And I'm I'm going to tell my story. I'm going to continue to tell this story about what I went through this morning with the thought of the day. All right. Tell it. Tell it. I'm going to tell it. Have a great day. All on right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen, a little bit delayed and a little bit of a shift and a change this morning, but uh, glad to be able to come to you and just to continue to encourage you as we are now uh, in this fast. I'll be sharing more with you later on. My wife has shared in this 21 days of prayer and fasting and consecration. Uh, we want to learn to live fasted lives, to live lives before God, always uh, listening for him under his influence, receiving his guidance by his spirit as his word is in our hearts. But there is that activation that comes as we uh, stand ourselves and look for what God is saying that his word might move us to where he wants us to be and what he wants to do. I believe this, friend, as you and I seek him it is him that works in us, Philippians chapter 2, verse 13, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Make yourself available. Come along with us in this and set the whole course of 2024 and beyond as you seek God with your whole heart and he reveals the plans and purposes and thoughts that he has for you. All right, remember this always, that God loves himself some you. We do too. You matter to God. And you matter to every one of us. All right. Well, do have a terrific Tuesday. Do it on purpose. You authorized by the one who made you and the one who made the day to have a terrific Tuesday. Bye-bye for now. We'll talk to you again real soon.